Orkane is known for having an awkward recovery that isn't newbie friendly. His up special without a puddle seems completely useless while his forward special only goes sideways. I'm Dol from Brick, and today I'm going to show you what Orkane's recovery options are and how to use them. We'll start with the fundamentals, your simplest options to get back on stage. If you haven't seen it, check out my guide on Orkane's side special found with the beefy ether dudes that takes an in-depth look on the properties of the move. The closer you are to the stage, the more options you'll have with adjusting the length. Use your air dodge to swerve attacks and do your best to avoid the hole, where you only have one option to land. If you've placed a puddle on the opposite end of the stage, it is almost always your safest bet to get back on stage. It has a long startup, so you want to bait your opponent into committing to you offstage, or else they'll have time to punish. This is not a recovery on its own, but it is the foundation that more advanced mix-ups are based off of. Now that we have our basic building blocks, we can get into the meat of the sandwich. While the previous recoveries are easily telegraphed and covered by good players, these new mix-ups will open up those options. If spaced properly, this move is very hard to contest and amazing at swatting away would-be edge guards. It has great disjoint, good power, it comes out fast, and you can throw out another one in the blink of an eye. The only thing you need to be aware of is moves with higher disjoint and parries. Be especially keen on mixing up the timing of your back air, because if you get parried without a wall jump, you'll lose a stock. You can recover from very high up with this, possibly stealing stage control in the process. The crazy thing about Bubble Butt is that it has a whole flowchart of mix-ups onto itself. You can go high or low, you can vary the speed of momentum, use it to stall mid-air, mix up double jump and air dodge timings, not only all of that, but it's very hard to punish with timing-based methods. Seriously, if you're moving at max velocity, it's pretty much impossible to parry. Here we find the more niche techniques, which can be used to great success in a pinch, but they have tougher inputs and should not be spammed. Orkane has two ways of B-reversing for additional recovery mix-ups. The first is down B. If you get knocked off stage at a high angle, you can reverse droplet and use bubbles to propel you back to stage without wasting your air dodge or double jump. The second mix-up is using neutral B. Use the droplet to interrupt their edge guard timing and use bubbles to cover your landing. Orkane's up special carries the momentum he has. By inputting a jump immediately into an up special, you gain an enormous jump that can be used to recover from much lower than normally possible. The catch is that you cannot have a puddle out or you'll teleport to it. If you do have a puddle out, a tricky mix-up is detonating it and orca hopping to a platform or ledge. If you really need to cover some ground, up special's momentum properties combined with bubble butt lets you reach some pretty crazy distances. Do a bubble butt recovery and at max velocity use puddleless up special. Your momentum will be carried through the up special and you can safely close a ton of distance. As you develop a greater sense of your options, you'll start to string several of these techniques together to make it back to safety. But now you know, literally all of Orkane's special moves can be used off stage to some degree. I would like to thank Shengon for writing the original recovery guide that was the inspiration for this video. You can find his guide on the ROA Academy Discord, which is a great place to find training partners and learn new tech. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you next time.